Hey friends, hope you're doing well. In this video today, I'd like to discuss one of the most important factors when you try to use open source models with launching. So in this case, I'm going to use the Orca model, which is a small model published by Microsoft, which has a very good performance as far as I can see. And I'm going to show you what I basically do here. I first import the libraries which I need. In this case, OS and .env, you can ignore this because I only use this when I use uh, OpenAI model, so uh, ChatGPT. But in this case, I don't do this. But what I need is the recursive character text splitter to split my documents. Then also the C Transformers library, which is there available from a long chain also, so I can use open source models. Then a text loader to load the data. In this case, for me, it's a text file, but this could also be a PDF file, for instance. But then, of course, you would have to use a different loader. You can also use YouTube videos and then use the YouTube loader. So there are a lot of loader classes in Langchain available. So it really depends on what you need. But if you want to learn more about this, feel free to check out the documentation or take a look at my last video because there I used the YouTube loader. So then we need a vector store. In this case, I'm going to use Face or Face. I'm not sure how to spell it correctly, but you can use this one for testing purposes. Then there's also Chroma, then there's Pinecone, and there are various other ones out there. Some of them are uh, well, online databases, but in this case, face is just in memory database. But you can also store it on disk, by the way, and then load it later if you want to do this. Then for the embeddings, we're going to use hugging face embeddings. Um, if you try this the first time, you need to make sure that you first download the uh, weights for that. But after that, you can simply use it uh, locally. So you don't have to, for instance, use any kind of uh, inference from the, from the internet, and you also don't use any kind of open eye uh, well, credits because you don't use the open eye embeddings, instead you're using this open source embeddings. So next to Hugging Face, there are also other ones, Hugging Face BGE embeddings, for instance. But I just want to mention, whenever you use different ones, you need to download the weights again. And uh, in this case, I'm using the default ones. But you can try out different ones, and maybe you get a better performance. So then next, we're going to use, uh, in this case, uh, uh, QA. So in this case, uh, question answering chain. And the chain I'm going to use is retrieval QA. And finally, of course, I want to use a prompt template. And this now is very important because by default, the prompt template, uh, of course, is fixed for uh, for Langchain and we have the option to adjust it. So if we don't adjust it, then there's a default template for various of the chains. There are a lot of chains in Langchain, but uh, this is something which we need to be aware of, uh, particularly aware of, if you're gonna use open source models. Because depending on the model, there's a different kind of structure, how the prompt has to look like. And for instance, for an orca, there's also a specific structure. And if you do not format the prompt in this structure, then you get worse results. So I tried it first with the default prompt and I got a result, but the result was very generic. And then I tried, or then I adjusted it actually to the format which orca expects. So in this case, the model, and I got much better results. So that's exactly the key point of this video. And also to keep in mind for all of you, uh, all of us. <laughs> so if we're going to use open source models, first we need to check what exactly does the model expect? Well, how should the input format it? This is a crucial step. Otherwise, um, in for, open, for OpenAI, it doesn't make uh, sense to do this. It, it does it for without any kind of formatting. We can use the default one. But if you want to use open source models, make sure to check that. And um, you can easily check that if you go, for instance, to the Hugging Face website, or if you just Google or use any other kind of search engine, you find out uh, what the structure looks like. And uh, then the next challenge, of course, is, okay, if we know the structure, how do we get it into long chain? Because this, depending on the chain, is also not, not that simple. Because sometimes the prompt template can't be fitted so easily in the specific chain. That's also something which I experienced, and I had to, uh, well, work on this and figure out how that works. So let me show you now how it works for the retrieval QA. So as I said, I'm instantiating the embeddings here. I'm using, in this case, my example, which is write code prompt. It's just a text file which tells me about um, prompt engineering and what's good practices and so on. And I just load this uh, with the loader.load. And now I have actually here, uh, when I split it then afterwards into chunks is documents. And then I, in this case, I split the documents here, store it in docs, and finally I load it in my vector store. Now this is now stored in memory. And now I can instantiate my C transformer model, in this case, uh, the Orca model, which is here, which I downloaded from Hugging Face. So if you don't know this, uh, feel free to check out my other videos. But basically what you can do is you can go to Hugging Face and then you can just download the model weights. 
and there are various weights out there for the model. You just search for the model and then you can search for various types and depending on what size you use, in this case I'm using the 7 billion parameter model, this is around 4 gigabytes, but of course you can also use bigger ones, then of course uh, the size is bigger, so you have to download the whole model, so make sure that you, you choose something which works for you. Um, so this is now uh, downloaded here and I store it in this specific file path, so I can use this, and then also I need to specify the model type. That's also very important with C-transformers here. So if you specify, for instance, or use a Llama model, then the model type should be Llama. If you use the Cephir model, then the model type should, should be Cephir and so on. So you need to specify this. And finally, if you want, you can also uh, define keyword arguments. So for instance, uh, specify what is the maximum amount of token or anything like that. That can also be uh, put in here if you want to do this. Um, then next, we instantiate the chain, which is the retrieval QA chain from chain type. The chain type is stuff and the LLM is the LLM, the retriever is the vector store, so that means we want the large language model, so the Orca model, to actually take a look at the retriever, so at the data, which is stored in the vector database, which in face, and if it finds something, then of course we want to return this. So it should not make up things or just um, use data which it was trained on, it just really should look up the things, in this case our question about uh, what makes a good prompt in this case, because it's about writing good prompts. So uh, now we have this, and now the important part, the prompt template here. Now the prompt template should look like this, if it's for the Orca model, at least. So the template is three hashes, then instruction, then you need to fit in the question, and then the response. And then the input variables is the question. So at first, this is the template you need when you're going to use Orca to get better results. And secondly, I think, uh, at least from my um, experience, it is very important that you specify here the variable as question. So you should really name it question and not, for instance, just Q or query or anything like that. So I will stick to these names here. You can try out different ones by, by I got issues when I use different names. So stick to questions, that's what I would recommend. And uh, then you should be good to go. So now we have the prompt template and finally we need to also put this somehow in our chain. And the way this works is by invoking the chain. So instead of running a chain, we need to invoke it and when you invoke the chain, we have the option to add here a dictionary, and the dictionary should look like this. So we have a prompt, which is the prompt here. So this prompt is put in here with the specific template and also the question parameter, which is put in here. And then the query itself is here list traits of a great prompt in bullet form. That's what I said in here. And uh, if I do this and then I print the result, you can see down there, this is my output, and then I get here list uh, the question itself, of course, you can not just print QA, you could also then print, you can see it returns a dictionary, you can print, of course, the, the results of the query as well. So, and then you can see here, these are the points, clear and concise language, then specificity about information or problem you want to address, uh, question list or other interactive elements to engage, and brevity and focus on the main goal. So exactly what I was expecting uh, here in bullet form, I mean, it looks a little bit strange with the backslash end, but this is just a new line character. Of course, you print out this differently, but hopefully you get the point. And that's basically it. So the key point here is uh, we can use any kind of open source model with Longchain, but we need to be aware of a few things. So there are a few intricacies which we need to be aware of. When you use C transformers, of course you need to download the specific model and then make sure you look up how exactly the template for the model should uh, actually be structured. Because as I said, for Orca it is like that. And of course for other um, models it might be look it might look different, uh, but you can easily look this up and make sure that you use the specific template the model expects, because you will get much better results, uh, trust me. And uh, then of course also make sure if you use the, the chain here, I would stick to the default names like question instead of putting query or queue, anything like that here, um, because then you should actually be good to go and the chain should run without any issues, okay? So that's it for this video. Hopefully that was helpful and you enjoyed it. If so, please give this video a like. Also like and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to me. And thank you, take care, and hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.